mounting a ferocious challenge at the end. Rajin Sal has come out to open the betting. So the experiment of Mohamed Rafiq is over. Average is 19.35. The best of 71, three half centuries for him. So he can bat. He can definitely feel. He's gone for it. And that'll go one, two, and into the boundary. Good lusty blow from Rajin Sal. And it goes square to where he was, and into the boundary for four. That can happen as well. Bunker they straight to for no loss, eight of the over. Straight back. So he can't put a hand out to it, but it was hit pretty firmly. Rajin Salah decided to get a move on. Well, really the only person who could have caught it was the umpire. Zahir was game enough for to try, but uh, it was going the other way. Very difficult for a bowler, particularly a quicker bowler, to change the track. So Ali Mdar was the only man who could have taken uh, that catch. But he preferred to be neutral. He moved out of the way. Have you known of an umpire catching a ball? Yes, once. Uh... Shot. That's been hooked away handsomely. Four. Well played, Rajan Saleh. Top shot. Very difficult shot to play. Rajan Saleh. Talent is very much there. Picked up the length quicker. And Agarka is the most experienced bowler in the Indian side. 200 plus one the wickets. One bounce in the fence. This is a very difficult shot to play in one day cricket if you're on the front foot. This is my point of view. I was a tail ender. I don't know about to, but the batsman alone can tell you that. Whatever for it, it's a tough shot to play with him, but he played it really well. I'm going to really decide whether Bangladesh make a serious challenge. Yeah, that's a lovely shot. And it's come at runner ball as well, and it's got the crowd cheering. They've come to watch the heroes bat. They're getting their money's worth. The results might seem improbable, but at least they're getting a bit of an exhibition here. What it was that was holding him back. And he'll sneak a single in. Throw the North striker then. Not with him was in front of the stumps. Very well run. Risky. He's found the gap. And that ball's going to curve away from the fielder. And into the boundary for four. He'll do slow this big part, but then he's not happy. They are. Well, no bowler is happy when he's hit for a boundary. The two young guns of uh, Bangladesh cricket is up, up uh, still to come. Promising cricket is very, very skillful batsman. And look at the way he's found the gap. And because he's played a cut, the ball will curve away from the fielder, who's at deep cover. Fifty for Arjun Saleh. Yes, the boy. The crowd's alive to that yet. They'll slowly pick up. It's been a very well played innings. Seventy-two balls, and that's why he should be batting for Bangladesh. I don't think the experiment with Rafiq is working. Seven fours, and very muted reaction from the crowd. I just wonder if they believe that he had a role in Ashraful's dismissal because it's a very strange reaction. This time he goes down the wicket, he's made good contact, that's four. There was a long on and a long off, but he placed it well between the two. And this was very well struck. As you mentioned, there was long on, so if the ball had to beat him, it had to be struck powerfully and sweetly. He's done exactly that. For six, Zaheer Khan was interested, but just for a brief moment there, that was struck in the middle of the bat. Well, once again, very good footwork from Rajan Salik. Struck by Harbhajan Singh, but he's down the track in a flash. 
knows exactly where he's hitting it, no half measures. He's moved on to his highest score in one-day international cricket. It's now on 73. Excellent footwork. He made sure he timed that move just right. 